All right, so the next thing on the agenda for the saw mill improvement is, is that I'm gonna replace this manual crank uh, here with a new power head that comes from uh, Woodland Mills. And uh, like any of the directions um, that works from Woodland Mills, uh, pretty self-explanatory, just step by step. Uh, the head is pretty heavy, so it's a little awkward uh, from watching other videos. Uh, but this really just reminds me of building Lego kits as a kid, so it's kind of fun, uh, just one step at a time. All right, I'm about ready to start to put the power head on. Um, only thing I did was take the push handle off. Uh, I have to put some shims on top. I think we'll get some tape, temporary put that on there. Main thing is you shim that up so it aligns with the power head. Um, not sure exactly how that's gonna go, uh, but we'll see. And when they give you lots of different kinds of shims, it makes you think it could be difficult. A little bit of an effort here to get that. That's a spring carter pin or spring pin to get that in there. Um, now, I mean the shims are right here. Shims are right here and then these are the set screws um, to straighten it up, get it um, on there straight and then uh, See, this has some play in it. There's some on the bottom. And then tighten those up and this will be installed. Uh, hook up the power. All right, uh, I got the power head on. Um, wasn't too, too bad. Uh, I did have to run to town to get a, a wider punch for that spring-loaded cotter pin that goes in there. Um, that was a little bit of a pain. Uh, would have been helpful with maybe two hands, but uh, it's not too bad. Uh, and it works. So power head goes up, power head goes down and runs off the battery that's uh, being supplied by the motor. So pretty cool. Uh, I'd say that project's great success. The other thing I'm gonna modify or change as an improvement is this red piece of metal that's the line indicator. Uh, I'm gonna cut a piece of plexiglass with a thin red line in it that will be a little easier to read. It will block part of the scale and be a little more precise. So uh, I'm gonna give that a try too. All right, so I just did a uh, shaped a piece of plexiglass on the like a bench top sander, um, made it so it fit in there nice and tight, and then took a little while, but oh, looks nice. Got a nice thin line, can see right through it. Pretty cool. Another project, another upgrade. Great success. All right, the next. Uh upgrade is I'm going to mount a green laser on the front of this sawmill. Uh, I got a little mounting bracket. I'm going to put it about here, uh, level that up so the laser will show on the log and the end of the log where the blade is going to cut. And that's going to be uh, super helpful um, with how to cut the log um, and less cuts and, and less waste really. So. Um, that's the next project. 
All right, here's the components of the laser. Uh, the bracket here, laser goes in that housing there. Um, this is a 12 to 3 volt reducer, I guess is the right term for that. Um, put an on off switch in there, a fuse. I'm going to try a 5 amp fuse to start out with here, but I bought some other ones and then connect that to the battery. Uh, and then uh, put a little mounting bracket on the sawmill for the on off switch. So that's the project. Uh, hopefully I'm not too much of an electrician, but I think I'll be able to do this. I'm using this little laser that my dad let me borrow and it's not working that well. I don't know if it needs any batteries or what, but basically I line that laser up against that blade. You can see it pretty good there in the yellow. Um, you can see it less right there. But just didn't show up very well on this green. Um, but I do have a reference point right there. And uh, that bracket has some give to it. And so it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, but I'm trying to get it as best I can. So that's how I, I set up where the bracket placement is. All right, so i got this little mounting bracket here. Um, I'm gonna put the on off switch here. I'm gonna put that reducer right there. Yeah, but before I did that, I just took that laser up to a little battery pack just to see if it was working. And man, it has a super green level line. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so just run some wiring there and um, button that all up and then hardwire that into the battery and should have that project complete. So there's two major improvements from yesterday. Got the power head on there, it's working. Um, and then this, I had, I was messing with the plexiglass to make the sight window for the scale. And so I just put this piece here, uh, the on off switch for the laser. And then this, this is the um, reducer that goes from 12 volts down to three volts. Uh, just so I thought that would be in and out of the weather and out of the way. Uh, so I mounted that there. So. Uh, that turned out all right. So this is what the laser looks like. Uh, it's a super bright green line. Maybe not so bright in the direct sunlight, but in the shade for sure. Uh, when I had it on last night, it seemed like a 80s high school dance with lasers because it was shooting clear out into the forest. So pretty cool. I won't uh, calibrate this or adjust it right now. I need a log up here and we'll get it level and adjusted. I just plan on tweaking that bracket up and down. I know I have it pretty close and then I can just, there's a set screw here that adjusts the uh, laser level. Also kind of wanted to tell you about how I got the components to the laser. Um, I watched one of the Sawing with Sandy's videos and then he had a link and it's apinex.com it comes through this looks like a small company in Canada uh, and then when I went to their website sure enough saw with Sandy's videos on there and then all of the components that uh, Sandy had ordered to kind of make a complete kit um, and so made it pretty simple I'll include a link uh, at the in this video down below uh, so you guys can go check that out but uh, power of YouTube um, I'm just like you guys I'm uh, just kind of trying to do best I can, so uh, anything like that, pretty helpful. Uh, of course, YouTube, I watched not only Song with Sandy's, but a couple other guys' videos. Um, so just wanted to give a shout out to, to that company and Song with Sandy.